fashion sewers. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew narrow elastic onto fabric. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. I've just completed a sewing project and this is the effect that sewing a narrow elastic onto fabric. As you can see it's a rooching effect. So that's going to be the right side and if I turn it inside you see the narrow elastic there and you can see how it's rooched up the fabric. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you. In this sewing project, it's asking to apply narrow elastic along the seam line of this sleeve. So this is a sleeve towards the end, towards the wrist area. And the narrow elastic is going to go from this point to that point. It does actually ask you to cut the elastic, but I'm actually going to show you a quicker and better way of doing it. Okay, um, I'm going to place my elastic where I want it on position. Take my pin out. I'm going to put my foot down and my needle into my work. Make sure you always start with your needle down. And now I'm going to pull to the full extent of the elastic. And I'm going to try my best to keep within this seam line here. Okay. But before I do that, I'm going to just secure the ends, go a couple of stitches forward and a couple of stitches backwards. Okay. Now I'm going to pull my elastic. I'm going to try and keep my hand out of the way for you so, so you can actually see my work here. So hopefully I'll get it. In line so remember just keep the lattice straight and it will root as you sew. Just take your time, there's no rush. And yep, yeah, so that went there. Pull that needle out. I've chalked it so I can see. You not you may not be able to see, but I've chalked where I need to stop. Just keep pulling the elastic. Stop there. Reverse. Again. And now I've completed my work. It's up and then pull my work away. And then Cut the elastic. So it's a lot more. It's a lot more easy doing it this way. So I've got my elastic in my, actually in my lap, and then I'm actually making sure that instead of cutting it to small sections as the pattern is asking you to do, it's better just to keep a long piece of elastic, rest it on your lap. So then cut it off, and then you've done it. So there we have it. Okay, I completed the sewing, and this is what it looks like. So as you keep it, if I just pull there. You can see how the elastic has reached the seam. Now that's on the wrong side. I'm going to turn it to the right side so you can see the effect. And I'll just pull it like that. Oh, I've done a pretty good job there. It's actually sewn into the seam line. I hope you found my um, tip useful. The fact that you're sewing with a narrow elastic in one continuous length rather than cutting it into small sections. Remember that you can also use this ruching effect not only on the uh, seams but any other part of the garment. And if you want to get a ruching effect without using gathers, use the narrow elastic as an alternative. If you have any questions, be, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll see you in my next video.